I'm sitting here with Arthur Brock and I'm happy to have a conversation with you tonight. So my first question is, what is your distinction in between a scientific paradigm and a systems paradigm? Well, I believe that we are in the transition process right now from <clears throat> moving from a scientific paradigm to what I call a systems paradigm. One of the key differences there is moving some, from sort of a, an object-based frame of reference to a flow-based, a flow-centric frame of reference, object-centric to flow-centric. Many scientists, I think, would say science is supposed to go out into this domain as well, but so far, science doesn't seem to do that well with living systems, with living, flowing, connected systems. It deals well with the parts, you know. And in fact, that's even kind of built into the word science. The, so the word science comes from the same root as scissors and schizo and schism, to cut, to separate. And I think we're all in some ways suffering from that separation, separation from from our deeper selves, from nature, from each other, from the divine, from everything. You know, we're, we feel separate and alone inside of that object-centric frame of reference. And in a flow-centric frame of reference, everything is connected. We're breathing the same air, drinking the same water. All membranes are permeable and temporary. And um, there's just patterns of flow within these different membranes, within and among and between these membranes. And one of the key things for me is actually the different expressive capacity that those two paradigms stem from. I think the scientific paradigm is in some ways the logical conclusion of using object-centric language, where like representational language, where we use words to represent objects and then we string them words together to describe objects interacting with other objects or objects in relationship to other objects. Subject, verb, object, preposition, object. You know, we string these things together and we have an object-centric world out of that, that capacity. Currencies are, for me, the expression of a different capacity about currents or flows. And I'm, I'm using the word more than just money, to mean more than just money, but um, to be the symbol systems that we create to shape, enable, and measure flows. So they're the social, the, the ways that we manage flows together. We're understanding more about how to organize ourselves and each other that way, in very much the same way that the cells in our body had to create languages to coordinate action on the scale of the billions and trillions of of cells that, that do the complex things in our body, we are beginning to create currencies, expressive capacities to coordinate on a large scale inside of a, a living systems frame of reference together.